when you're a unicorn, every day is filled with magical awesomeness. Well, what's up, fam? It is Saturday, and it is time for the Lennon vlog. Ain't that right, baby? Hey. Yeah. Well, um, I've been up for like an hour. Elizabeth wasn't feeling so great, so she continued to lie in the uh, bed. Meanwhile, I did one of my wonderful pastimes. Well, you can't really see video games. So it's been a fun, unproductive, Uneventful. yeah uneventful morning but we got we didn't get in bed till what uh 1 30 like yeah yeah we went out last night with friends played some games y'all yeah, know that doesn't work for us very well yeah we crashed hard we aren't really that cool uh today is gonna be our date night day woo <laughs> so uh, uh we didn't really decide what we're doing right mm -mm. no so you're gonna figure out when we figure out Y'all, I am so excited. We just got this box in the mail right there. This is our photo book that we ordered um, from our amazing photographer, Ashley McDonald. She did a great job on our wedding photos. And now we finally get our photo book. We took forever ordering it. She didn't take forever. We took forever. Um, and uh, yeah, so I am super pumped to look through this beauty and relive our day. Fall here was like so pretty and kind of like just progressing so nicely for the couple days that fall got. Now the winter is struck, um, the trees that still have leaves on them are like freaking out. They're like, why are we late? Uh, that's how I'm taking it anyway. So now we get all these fun leaves all over our porch, which I don't know, people are like, break the leaves. I kind of like them, which is good because I don't feel like doing anything with them, but I think it's nice. Leaves everywhere. Feels like new season. Time has arrived. Yay! Back. Aw, it's so nicely packaged. Now for the big moment. Do we need to like tilt it up so it's the big? No. no. Oh, sure. is next level. She's so great. Ashley McDonald Photography. Yeah. I'll try and link her website in the description. It is date night and we have decided what we're going to do for our date. What are we going to do for our date, dear? Do you think you can articulate it? I think I can articulate it just as a matter of how quickly I can. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, we're going to Barnes & Noble. Going to look at some children's books and then read them to each other and see who does a better job. I will read the book he finds, he will read the book I find, and it'll just be fun to see how we read children's books. That's really the only thing. We're probably gonna get some Starbucks while we're in there, and then we might pick up some dinner on the way home. Just a way of doing something that we don't usually do, because like life gets so mundane and repetitive, and it's like, okay, he goes to work, I go to work, we take care of the house, he studies, we, we eat dinner, you know, all the same things. So we like to make our dates something that isn't like going out to eat dinner together, because that's pretty normal and something we do all the time just at our house. So we like to shake shake it up. Whoa, babe. <laughs> Shift it, I was gonna say, but I wanted to say shake it up and do things like baking together or going out and doing something weird random like this. So that's what we're doing. Let's go, baby. Let's read some children's books. What do we got here, babe? We have crochet kittens. Oh, that's adorable. This is a kit to crochet two kittens. Mm -hmm. They have cat sweaters. We, yes, Kayla and Chris could each knit a sweater <laughs> for Kit Kat. Holy cow. All right, Kayla, let me know. You and Chris want this? Can you knit some sweaters for your kid? Mm -hmm. This, oh, crochet. I'm sorry for all of you who realized that. The crochet thing, sweaters. This is so cute. All right, guys. There's been a pressing need in this world, and I'm, I'm thrilled to know that somebody Fit me. Here at Barnes and Noble, you can get yourself some reading socks. Okay, these are just like invaluable. I cannot say enough about them. I can't read unless I put these socks on. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. And and these ones, these.
these are like for poetry. These are poetry reading socks. It doesn't, it's not marketed that way, but you'll know when you put them on. It just speaks to you, okay? And these ones, I can't even go there, okay? Just get some. Babe. Yes. <laughs> Triggered. Where's Wheeler? Is she the one who complains on social media all the time? <laughs> oh wait, that's all of them. <laughs> we should move on. Okay. So while we've been in here, we thought of a few more ideas for how you can customize this Barnes and Noble date. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is the children's book. Thing. We also, the first time we did this, a long time ago, we came in and found five books that the title reminded us of the other person, and then we came back together to tell them why this title reminded us of them. We also had the idea that we could like go around the store and find a number of books to tell a story using the titles, and then just get back together to read them, because it would be fun. And what was the other one? could also <laughs> just go in here and start looking around and like learn something you didn't know and then just tell the other person who. Just things that are just random, you don't usually do, and they're just fun. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. So let's go look for some books, babe. Let's do it. I got you. It's not all rainbows <laughs> with Kevin the Unicorn. With an extra big smile, Kevin set out for a glittery and fantastic day. This is how I imagine Micah waking up in the morning. <laughs> oh, Kevin would no longer hide what he was really feeling. Today is not awesome or fantastic, and it's definitely not sparkling. <laughs> it turns out unicorns don't always have perfect, magical days. Okay, what do you got for me, dear? Here we have. Llama Llama Red Pajama. <laughs> it's a bedtime story. Okay. For young tots. Okay. Llama Llama Red Pajama. Reads a story with his mama. Where did she go? Llama Llama Red Pajama. Weeping, wailing for his mama. <laughs> oh, no, that. <laughs> this looks like a little too passionate for a mother and a son relationship. Time to review our date. Woo! Woo! All right, baby. Rate it. Rate it? Like, <laughs> what, I, I, what, did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was fun. I, um, it was, I, I feel like it's really good for us to do something that doesn't fit in our natural, like, normal, normal thinking day-to-day -day life. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, it was, I don't know, like... I don't know if it's just a guy thing or just a person thing, but there are some times where I just, like, struggle to, like, maintain focus, and that's not, like, an all-the-time thing. Me too. Thing. It's just, like, like, I was just having a hard time, like, maintaining focus. So, but I had a fun time, but I, for me personally, I felt bad because I felt like that, you know, you know. I felt awkward because we were just sitting in the corner because we couldn't find anywhere to sit, so we just sat in the corner reading these kids books to each other and then people were like come down the aisle and kind of looking at us like what's going on yeah. um but I feel like that's the point because I don't know for me I feel like when we take the opportunity to feel awkward together it helps our relationship grow oh, so uh I it was a great date I thought it was a great date and it it's good. still going on yes now yes getting groceries mm-hmm and we are enjoying every bit of it, aren't we, dear? And now, Presenting. it is by the linens themselves. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> the last section of, wait, is that a bug? Anyway. The last section of our date night, Subway and a movie. Actually, Subway and a show first. We're gonna watch. Movie. We're gonna watch another episode, maybe just one, maybe not, of Smallville, 
and then we're gonna probably watch the movie The Grinch, which I'm really excited about. I absolutely can't stand the original The Grinch movie because like the whole like real people thing, totally weird, freaky. The movie, not my favorite. But the animated one, I'm looking forward to seeing. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh babe. I think now is the time we should share with them our people. We're pregnant. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. No, 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 no. Um, no, I want to tell them about how we afford dates. Oh, yes. We got a secret for you. This is uh, one of planning. the best decisions we've yeah. made. This is planning for a successful marriage and a fun marriage 101. Yeah. So. One of the things that we did to invest in our marriage from our wedding. We decided, prior to uh, actually our wedding, we decided that we would take some of the money that we had gotten from the wedding. The majority of it, really. Yeah, a yeah actually it was a decent amount. And we split it up into chunks for each month after we got married. And that would be our date money for the month. Of, for So we planned... Yeah a year in advance of dates mm -hmm. to go on a date every week. We did $100 a month, so it allots about $25 per week, except we don't always need money for the date that mm -hmm. we do. Like if we go on a nature trail walk or something, we don't need money for that. So it evens out to $25 a week, but typically we'll have more for some and not use any yeah. for others. So we can go on a big date and then we'll be like, yeah. let's stay home and watch a movie. That will yeah. be our little date. Like let's so. get stuff and go and bake something together, you know? Yeah. So, but that is how we afford to go on a date and we don't touch that money for anything else. Mm -hmm. I divided it up into envelopes and wrote the month on there, put a hundred dollars in each one and we only open it for dates. Yeah. It's great because we don't have to you know, we don't have the budget yeah, for and, it. And, and then we're not caught into the situation if something were to come up, we're like, but well, we that. yeah. Because yeah. dates are typically the things that people cut first. Or they're mm -hmm. like, we don't have the money, we shouldn't do that. And we didn't ever want to get in that situation. So we decided to start off with a healthy habit of dating yeah. weekly if we can do anything about it's, it. It's ironic because they're like, we're having money issues. So the first thing we should do is cut out the thing that we bond the most during. Yes. <laughs> and that just leads it's to like our relationship issues, definitely which, should know. be cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's what we've so done. What and we it has worked out great. Yep. Yeah. You know? It's great. Cause and that's why we have Subway tonight. Yes. So it works out really well. We are always able to do something together. So that is one of the genius things yeah. that we've done. What is this? The sexiest state I find my husband in? Oh yeah, that's what that is. Hey, you looking good over there. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me this very large responsibility. I appreciate you taking that large responsibility. <laughs> it, is a honor, it is an honor and blessing to... <laughs> We're about to try something new. Um, I, the people I babysit for got this, and I know Skylar likes to try lattes, so we tried this thing. Honestly, when they got it, I just wanted to put it away, because um, the groceries came, I was going to put it away with the chicken stock, because it's the same kind of container, and the colors were different on theirs, but it was a chai latte thing. So we got this, and I just made some, you just mix it with milk, uh, we used almond milk, and uh, whoop, there it is. So, I made him a chai latte, and we're going to let him try it and see how it tastes. Yay. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Do the smell test first. Smell it. It does have a chai. Yeah, so. It's gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on it for aesthetics. But I think it works really well. Does it need more chai? More almond? Mm, maybe a little more chai. Like it, it seemed weak. I didn't try. Take two. Okay, off. Do you want me to reheat it? Um, yeah. We're ending the vlog here because all we're doing today is church and then Skylar studying for four or five hours. Woo, so nothing fun to see. Yeah. So we're going to end it right here on our way to church. Thank you for watching and share your cool date ideas with us since that's pretty much what we did. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite way to date your significant other and what is a fun uh, date idea. 
that we can maybe do or not, whatever. You know, let me know. Even if you're not in a relationship, you can just come up with something. It's fine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us. We appreciate it, and we love to hear your feedback. Deal. Do you have anything, Miss Van? Love you. <laughs> Next weekend, there will be no vlog, but hold your tears. We're going to post our six month update video answering the questions that you left me on my Instagram. Um, you can follow me on Instagram right there. It'll be, it'll be here somewhere where you follow me. Um, underscore Elizabeth Lennon. But we're going to answer your questions and that video should be up probably like Monday next week. And uh, yeah, that'll be super fun. I'm looking forward to that video, but there will not be a vlog. Hold your tears, please. We love you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you sometime.